Tiny Games here. Welcome back to the channel. Um, it looks like the new event in Disney Dreamlight Valley has started. I am so excited. I'm so glad this has started before my holiday. I genuinely thought it was going to start this weekend. That was what a lot of the rumours were. Um, so I'm very excited that this has started now. Um, now I thought we would go through a little bit about the event and stuff like that. Now I've got to admit, I don't know a lot about it. <laughs> But I have had a quest come up from Scrooge, so I figured why don't we start there, go through this together, and then we can have a look at what some of this in event entails. So I'm here in the Scrooge store because as you can probably see in the top left hand corner, I do have a notification of a quest which is called Dreamlike Parks Fest, and it says to talk to Scrooge McDuck. So let's go have a conversation with him. Ah Tani, have I got exciting news for you. I spoke to some of the other villagers and we've decided it's high time to bring back the Dreamlight Parks Fest. Uh, tell me more. Well, before the forgetting, the Dreamlight Parks Fest was an annual festival here in the valley. For a few weeks, the entire place becomes one giant amusement park. There are special treats to bake and share, collectible popcorn buckets, festival decorations to put up and prizes are plenty. Oh, so these festival decorations, I wonder if they're the new crafting recipes we got? Interesting. Uh, how do I participate? I have a feeling the Dreamlight Parks Fest will come to you. The villagers are busting to bring it back. Just talk to those you see with a party twinkle in their eye. Bless me bagpipes, the first Dreamlight Parts Fest in ages. It'll be a huge success or my main my name's not Scrooge McDuck. Oh, so he's giving me some Oh, I bet you these are the recipe uh things for the cupcakes. Now I have made all the cupcakes already. Um but let's uh have a look at this. Yeah, mermaid cupcake recipe, mini cupcake recipe, princess aurora raspberry cupcake recipe, spaceship earth and stitch. So um, I will probably briefly mention in the video what these recipes are, but it does look like you don't even need to find out yourself because the recipes are giving to you, which I think is fantastic. That's obviously so helpful for people who maybe aren't as active on social media and things like that. So don't interact with the community in that way. I think that's such a great uh, idea. Okay, now it does look like we also have some other um, quest bubbles here. So Scrooge has got one above his head, but so does Wally. So let's go talk to Wally because he's my favourite. Hi Wally. Wally? Uh, I'm happy to see you. Happy Dreamlight Parks Fest. Are you having a good time? Uh, directive? Well, the directive for the festival is to have fun. Collect popcorn buckets, decorate... Bake special cupcakes and give them to other villagers. Ah, directive, excited beeps. You want to give out cupcakes? Affirmative whistle. Huh, okay, I can make you some spaceship earth cupcakes. Maybe we can give them to the members of your astronomy club. Whoopee! Oh, see, I love this. This is amazing. Okay, so um, we've obviously interacted with Wally here and we need to cook some spaceship earth cupcakes. So why don't we just head over to Remy's? I think that's the closest uh, little stall <laughs> that we have. Um, or like cooking stall and then have a look into this. Okay. Also, don't mind the junk in Remy's. My inventory is always full these days. Okay, so I'm going to head down to the recipes list to show you these recipes that we can make. Now, luckily, as I said, you do get the recipe books, so you don't need to learn them yourself. Um, you will be given the recipe um, to make. Now, if I head down, oh, if I head down, <laughs> for one of these days, I'll be able to make it. Okay, here we go. So this is the mermaid cupcake. So all the cupcakes use the same base, which is milk, wheat, butter, and sugar cane. And then the last thing you have is a different ingredient at the end. So the mermaid cupcake takes a scallop or a clam. I forget which ones those are. <laughs> uh, you have the apple for the mini cupcake. Then you have, um, if we scroll down, Princess Aurora Raspberry requires raspberries. 
Um, the Spaceship Earth Cupcake does require coconuts. And then there should be a last one here, which is a Stitch Cupcake, which this requires blueberries. So as I said, you do get all the ingredients anyway from Scrooge. So no worries about having to save this information because you will be given it all. And then you can just select it from your cooking menu to craft. So these are the Spaceship Earth Cupcakes. They look so cute. Oh, we need to make five of them though because Wally specifically said five. So um, it does look like I'm only going to be able to make four here because I'm out of milk. But luckily I have one on a table. So I'm going to grab that. Hopefully I don't have to cook them from scratch. But if not, I am going to buy a bunch of... Oh yeah, it does say four out of five. So I do have to make these from scratch. So for anyone who's been pre-baking these, I'm sorry to break it to you. It looks like you are going to have to bake these again. <laughs> um, so that's just a little heads up, I guess, if anyone plans to pre-bake. Don't do that because it looks like you have to bake them when you get the task. Um, let's see, where's this last one? Here we go. <laughs> Okay, here we go. And now we need to repeatedly deliver Spaceship Earth cupcakes to any villagers, repeatedly giving to the same... What? Oh, repeatedly giving cupcakes to the same villagers doesn't count. Spread the joy. Okay, interesting. Um, well, why don't I... Look, we've got Stitch here. Let me talk to him. Let me, I have something to give you and I'm going to give him this Spaceship Earth Cupcake and then I'm going to give him a second and just see if it does affect the counter or not. Okay, so we've got one out of five currently. Let me, I have something to give you and give it to him again and see if it does change the count. For me, thank you. It doesn't. Okay, so you do have to make sure that you are giving them to different villagers. It does look like you can give them to whichever villagers you want, though, which is kind of good because um, I don't know if I could... I would need the game to remind me all the people in the, um, the astronomy club. I know Eric was there. I think Merlin was involved, <laughs> but I don't remember anyone else. <laughs> So since we're in here, I'm just going to give them to You're all here. the villagers in here because I think that's going to be easiest. Um, so we're giving Rapunzel one here. Okay, so it does, it, it does also count the Eternity Isle villagers as well. So that's good to know. Oh, we can give one to Oswald. How's it going, friendo? <laughs> Let me give you something, my good friend Oswald. Okay, so we have this one done. And then the last one, Olaf, enjoy this cupcake. There we go. So just a heads up, make sure you are giving them to different villagers. Okay, and there we go. And now we can return to Wally. I'm assuming he's still going to be in Scrooge's, I would think. Okay, let's head in here. Where are you, my boy? There he is, he's all the way. No, Wally, come back. <laughs> Does this happen to anyone else where the villagers just run away from you? <laughs> Everyone was really excited about our Spaceship Earth cupcakes, Wally. We should make some more soon. Whoopee! Okay, is he... Oh, he's giving me some buttons! Okay, so we've unlocked some new crafting recipes, which are for these popcorn buckets. How exciting. Let me talk to Scrooge because he's got a bubble above his head. Oh, okay, Elsa, I don't want to talk to you. Can you go away? <laughs> there we go. Good day to you, Tani. Okay. Um, okay, so there's a couple of quests from Scrooge. So let's click on this Scrooge McDuck one. Ah, uh, Tani, a minute of your time. Okay, what's up? 
is about my nephew Donald. I've heard that he's been in a bit of a prank war with Stitch all over the village. Well, I'd like to do my part to make things right with the villagers using cupcakes. Great idea. Everyone loves cupcakes. Aye, and here's my grand idea. I'd like them to be Stitch cupcakes. I've told Donald I'll help him by handing out cupcakes as peace, offer peace offerings for the trouble the pranks have caused to protect our family's reputation and all. But when the villagers see these, they'll think the cupcakes are from Stitch, not Donald. Oh, he's going to boil like a red hot kettle and it serves my nephew right for not considering the consequences of his actions. That's hilarious. <laughs> Could you bake up some of those Stitch cupcakes and hand them out to villagers? Let's have a little fun. Okay, and let me talk to Scrooge as well to see about the uh, the furniture one. So, ah, Tani, just the capable carpenter I was hoping to see. I'm listening. The Dreamlight Parts Fest is a splendid opportunity to brush in at the village. It will help get everyone in the festive spirit. And I have some exclusive blueprints for the new furniture if you're interested. First, you'll have to gather supplies. Here, I've got a list of what we'll need. Now, don't dally. Okay, so I am going to track that. Oh my goodness, look at all this that we have to gather. Okay, <clears throat> so there is a lot of things we need here, flowers-wise and stuff like that. Um, luckily, I have a bunch of stuff dumped outside of my house. <laughs> so hopefully we have them. Oh, I doubt I have the flowers and things, but I can certainly... Um, Pick up any iron stuff. <laughs> um, oh, look, it looks like I've got iron here. Oh, no, that's a time-bending fragment. I don't need that. And I'll pick up any of this uh, fibre, which will be good for um, the rope. And also, here is my collection of time-bending fragments. So if anyone does need any, just let me know or join the Discord. And I am happy to drop some off for you. Okay, I think that's all we've got from outside resources. So let's head inside my house and uh, gather what we need. <laughs> okay, so let's get the iron ingots and the rope. How many did I need? Was it five rope, I think? And like a bunch of iron. Which shouldn't be a problem because I've got a ton of that. As you can see. <laughs> Let's just make 40 iron ingots. Okay. Okay, so it was 25 rope. Oh boy. Okay, so for 25 rope. Oh my god, I don't even have enough fibre. Okay. Let's cut this down. This is going to take a lot of fibre, so definitely gather your seaweed, folks. Start gathering your seaweed. Okay, so we have 150 fibre. So 25 rope is going to be 200 fibre. So just a heads up, we're going to need a lot of fibre. A lot. <laughs> Okay, and then we need the flowers, so I'll come into my flower storage room. Um, so we need red falling pestamons. Hold on, let me see if I've got any in my excess cupboard. Uh, red falling pestamons, green falling, and sunflower. Oh, I only have two sunflowers. Um, doesn't look like I've got the green falling uh, pestamons. So we'll have to get those out the other chest. White and red hydrangea, purple hydrangea. Uh, okay, doesn't look like I've got them. I've got some purple hydrangeas here and yellow daisy. Yellow daisy. Okay, I've got some yellow daisy. So I just need the penstemons, the sunflower and white and red. Okay, well there's my sunflower the white and red hydrangea here we go and then green falling here we go oh no that's rising wait was it okay i don't know i must have made that up oh yeah it was green rising <laughs> 
<laughs> That'll be why. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I can read, I promise you all. <laughs> Let's go talk to Scrooge McDuck. Okay. Okay, where are you, Scrooge? Up top? Good day to you. Knock me over with a twig, you got all the supplies. Now here's what I had in mind. Disney park balloons and new colourful benches. Head straight on over to a crafting station and build them. After that, you can use them to decorate the valley. I've even got a special reward for you when you're done. Okay. So we need to make five of the Disney park balloons and five of the colourful park benches. So if we come into furniture mode, oh look, here's the um, popcorn buckets. So the Cinderella popcorn bucket takes 40 green buttons, five purple, 15 blue and five red. Stitch takes 40 green, 15 blue, 20 flower and five purple. The figment bucket requires 40 green, 20 flower, 5 purple and 10 red. The Pooh's popcorn bucket takes 40 green buttons, 20 flowers, 10 reds and 15 blue. And then the me me metallic me uh, Mickey popcorn bucket, if I can say that, takes 40 green buttons, 15 blue buttons, 5 purple buttons and 20 flower buttons. Now I have got a screenshot of my phone of apparently how you get the buttons because it doesn't look like we've had a task that's uh, guided us on exactly how to get them. Um, but if we scroll down, hopefully we can find the new Parks Fest items. Um, I'm not sure where they are in my inventory, so I'm hoping they are together. Okay, yeah, so here we are. We have them at the end. So we have the park banner lamppost, which takes five ingot, one topaz, and ten fiber. The recycling bin, which requires 15 softwood. The colorful park benches, which takes five iron, two falling penstemons, uh, three green rising, and one sunflower. And the Disney park balloons require five rope, one hydrangea, one purple hydrangea, and one yellow daisy. So that's why we needed to get so many flowers. Now, I'm not sure if this quest changes to the other items or not. I do believe this is meant to be like a weekly quest. Uh, quest whereas the handing out cupcakes is meant to be daily I think but I'm not 100% certain and then we have the Mickey Mouse part balloons which take five rope one purple uh, rising one dandelion and one blue hydrangea now one thing I would say with this um, is obviously don't bulk craft these at once wait till you get the objectives um just because the last thing you want to do is spend all your resources and be without. <laughs> so I would try not to bulk craft these. Another thing with the Disney Park balloons actually, because I have already crafted them. Uh, the two balloons have the different Disney princesses on them. It is so, so cute. Definitely check that out because it is adorable. Okay, and then we need to decorate our valley with these. So let's go and place these down. Okay, I'm going to head down here and just place them in my meadow, which, excuse the mess. Luckily, it looks like the Parks Fest tasks come up the top here. And then you can just, like, kind of place them down easily. So you haven't got to scroll all through your entire inventory. Let's place the other park benches. This is such a mess. Obviously, if you want to, you can do this, like, in a pretty fashion, but... If not, don't worry. Also, here's the balloons. So these are the princesses. So we've got Aurora, Cinderella, and Tiana on this one. And then I don't have them out at the moment, but the other balloons have uh, Ariel. Uh, who else does it have? It has some of the other princesses, and now I'm forgetting which ones. But yeah, it does have other princesses. It has Belle, Ariel and Belle, and I think someone else. Um, but yeah, so you can see there that they've got the light princesses on them. So there we go. We've decorated there. Now let's return to Scrooge McDuck, who is luckily outside. So let's go talk to him. 
I can actually clean up these night fawns as well. I've done the star path, so I don't know why I'm letting them build up. Um, come here, Scrooge. Let me through. There we go. Okay, splendid. Simply splendid. The new decor looks marvellous. Why well, I'm in the festival mood already. And here's a wee reward as promised. Okay, so we've got 50 green buttons. That is good. Um... Now, I don't think we have any kind of... Oh, God, not these invisible walls. Um, notification for how to get these buttons, it seems. So we do have to cook these stitch cupcakes, but, like, it doesn't show that anyone else has a quest. It doesn't look like it. Um, so I might go through that a bit separately. So... Um, why don't we talk about it and try and see if we can get some of these buttons. So the first thing is the blue buttons, which apparently can be found whilst fishing in the peaceful meadow in white bubbles. Oh, and on Dazzle Beach. So let me get out my uh, fishing rod here and we'll try and fish in this bubble and see if we get a button. Fingers crossed we do. <laughs> It does look, oh, it looks like Mickey's got a quest for us, so maybe we go talk to him. That might be a good idea. Okay, Mickey, come here. Hello again, Tanny. Uh, hello to you too. Say, Tanny, have I ever told you about my favourite cupcakes? No, but tell me now. Um, I'd love to. My favourite cupcakes are mini cupcakes. They're inspired by mini signature style and we make them every Dreamlight Parks Fest. Say, you're a great baker. Do you think you could try making them and share these with other villagers? What, what you know? Okay, so it looks like Mickey just wants some uh, more cupcakes for Minnie. Um, I wonder if it's going to be like the main, like... No, because Wally isn't really like a main uh, big six character. He's a main character for me, but he's not one of the big six. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So we've got a blue button. So confirm that's how you get those. Apparently red buttons can be found foraging on the ground in Dreamlight Valley. So I'm not sure. Oh, okay. We haven't found a red one, but this here, this is the flower button. So the flower button can be found foraging on the ground in the plaza and peaceful meadow. The green button is from completing daily and weekly event quests. So that's what we got from Scrooge. And then the purple button can be crafted using blue buttons, red buttons, and a hundred dream light. And then we don't seem to have information on how to get the yellow one, which is interesting. Um, so I'd be intrigued to find out a bit more on that. I am intrigued that we haven't found one of the other red foraging ones. I would have loved to have found one. But we have got a moonstone chest here, so... I mean, that's good. We can at least get that. <laughs> Every little helps. Okay, let's head down. Can't see that there's any here on Dazzle Beach. Okay, interesting. I'm trying to keep an eye out in case anyone else has a quest as well, but I don't think I've seen anyone with a bubble above their heads. And I think they would be out of their house at the moment. Okay, yeah, uh, I don't see any. Okay, so I wonder if these show up in time. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't see one. And then I found one. Look here. Okay, so these are quite hard to see. As you can see, they're quite flat to the ground. So these might be harder to look for i'm just gonna go in furniture mode yeah you can still see them in furniture mode so they are quite hard to see though but it might just be easier if you want to to scan in furniture mode and see if you can spot any this way oh i've got another blue chest over there oh look there's one up here 
so that might be the better way to <laughs> to find these um buttons is to go into the furniture mode that might make it a bit easier for you i certainly think if you've got a decorated valley it's gonna be a bit harder also i'm gonna check again i don't think it is fixed no every 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 time there's like changes i know there was a hot fix i just wanted to check and see if i could finally fix that but it doesn't look like i can i'm not sure if i ever will be able to i don't think uh, game loft are interested in fixing that for me um yeah i think that's all i've seen so far but again there could be buttons elsewhere and i'm just not seeing them now i'm very intrigued about the yellow ones though because i don't oh there's another one how did i miss that okay interesting oh and there's another one down there by that house so i'll grab that oh a crafting recipe unlocked for the purple button so that's obviously unlocked because i've finally picked up these ones um there was another house round here so let me grab that and then if we head down to my crafting table maybe we can have a look and see what it says if it says anything for the yellow buttons i don't think it did Where's my, oh, my crafting bench is all the way over there. Of course it is. Okay, so let's have a look. Where do the buttons come under? Functional, okay. So the purple one is here and it requires a blue and a red. But there's no other buttons in here. But then when we go into the furniture, that's where we have the popcorn buckets. But these don't mention yellow buttons. So I don't know where that theory for the yellow buttons has come from. Because they're not required here. So that's interesting. If I find out, I'll add it into the edit. Um, or I will just add it onto the video and if I can work it out. But let's let's craft a purple button just for the sake of crafting one. Um okay so there we go and then we made a purple one so i guess that's what we need for the um the bucket so make sure you're doing your daily and weekly quests make sure you're looking around your uh plaza and your meadow for these flowers so that you can get these buttons see these look a lot like the yellow buttons i think the yellow buttons and the flower buttons are basically the same thing I think that's what it is but i'm not 100 percent sure so again editing tanny will probably try to correct this somewhere is it in foraging yeah blue green red purple yeah the yellow buttons are here but look this yellow button and flower button are the same thing like when you look at the pattern on it so we'll have to wait and see with that hello everyone uh sort of editing tanny or <laughs> <laughs> after recording my initial video i realized there was some really important stuff that i missed out but not only that through the power of friendship <laughs> i have been able to craft the popcorn buckets that you saw earlier in the video now i want to point out something that i completely overlooked which was in the village tab of the dreamlight duties we also have three new uh quest tasks to do um we have popcorn enthusiast we have sweet samaritan and we have button maker now for the sweet samaritan you have to hand out 50 cupcakes so you'll probably do this easily while you're doing like the daily tasks to hand out those cupcakes uh we have button maker which is basically to craft the buttons so i believe this was the purple one um and then we have popcorn enthusiast which for that you need to craft these popcorn buckets but then what you also need to do is you actually need to place them in your valley. So you won't get the achievement just from crafting them. You do need to place these down. So I'm just going to place the stitch one down and the metallic Mickey one. And there we go. We have the task complete. We do this and we get a vintage Magic Kingdom map. 
Now, if I interact, you can see you can interact with these buckets, which will open them up. These are very, very cute. I do like these. Um, it is a bit of a shame that you can't seem to, like, wear them. So it looks like the figment one opens at the back, as does the Mickey one. Um, my personal favourite here is the Pooh Bear one. That is just so sweet and so cute. Um, I think the Stitch one is going to be very popular amongst the Stitch fans. Um, but yeah, these are actually really, really cute items. I do really, really like these. I don't know, can I craft the all the buttons that I needed? Um, what is it? Refined material? No. Functional. Yes, let's have a look. How many? I think I needed to craft 50, right? I think. I could be wrong. Okay, so to craft 50 buttons is going to take 5,000 Dreamlight. Um, let's finish doing that. Yep. Oh, you only needed to make 20. <laughs> let's see. Well, I just made a bunch of those. Um, and then the Sweet Samaritan is handing out the cupcakes. Um, but yes, I will get to that. But yeah, we've got some uh, maps here. If I head into my house here, we can put those up. This isn't my main house. This is just like a, a, a house skin house. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look. Okay, so this is the retro Magic Kingdom and this is the vintage one. Yeah, so these are cute. I actually really like these. I think these will be nice decor items to have. Um, yeah, this is really, really cute. Oh. I like this Magic Kingdom one here. This one's my favourite between these two. I think I really like this one. So, yeah, just a little heads up. There are some extra Dreamlight duty tasks that you can do um, with this event. And also, I've shown you the popcorn buckets there as well that you craft and you can place in your valley. Um, so, yeah, I hope this was helpful. Let's go back to the regular scheduled video. Yeah, that looks to be the main parts of the event and uh, I hope this was informative and enjoy the event and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys!